Okay, so here we've got our gingers. It's the same thing as with the other gingers. You put them in some compost until they sprout. There are a few things to watch out for though. Ginger is actually quite prone to fungal rot and the bacterial rots. Try and make sure you start with a really healthy rhizome. Okay. If something starts rotting off, it's probably a goner. Uh, secondly, when you're in the market, if you can see anything that starts to sprout, yeah. buy those. Yeah. That will save you months, which means yeah. your growing season will be a couple of months longer and you have a much bigger crop. Okay. Uh, that's basically it with gingers. Um, the other thing also with all gingers, they like it warm and wet when they're growing. Right. They're basically plants from monsoon climates with a strong wet season. They're also understory plants, lots of them. So not fussed if it's, if it's super, super sunny. Oh, right. So good light, but it doesn't have to be full sun all day. It's not like a vegetable. Okay. Uh, and one other thing, they like to be fed. So when they're up and growing, lots of liquid feed. Oh, and right. They really, really respond to that. Well, like a they, tomato feed or yeah, chicken? Maybe, Chicken manure, something with lots of nitrogen. Okay. They explode if you give them that. And then okay. you're much more likely to get a crop because otherwise it's a bit marginal. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Fabrice. That's week one. We've got lots coming in the next few weeks. Thank you very much.